At the end of the walking day and early in the mornings, these are the scenes which are on the Namibian roads. Walkers being transported in sometimes overloaded and vehicles not adjusted to carry passengers. Walkers risk their own safety as they opt to be transported in overcrowded commercial and light delivery vehicles, usually the only form of transport offered by employers. It is, it is a point of concern that needs to be addressed uh, and uh, uh, really we should, we should make uh, effort to have these uh, employers on board to tell them or to advise them that uh, it is better to transport your people uh, in a minibus or in another type of vehicle which is, which is more safe than the bucket. What seems like an easy ride home can result in horrific accidents that claim lives. It's a very, very uh, crucial thing to, 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 to see how they are injured and how they are dying. It's very, very, very hard to, uh, really, very hard to believe that. Overloading is not only a safety risk, but also destroys the roads of the country. Therefore, the city police monitors the situation and the drivers risk fines of 1,000 Namibian dollars and more if caught violating the laws. It is a growing concern because you find that indiscriminately most company owners especially are transporting their workers between their residence and the workplace at the back of a goods vehicle, a trucks in the most instances and that transportation is done unsafely and therefore it is illegal in essence and that is almost happening on a daily basis. The city police and the Namibian police are requesting an amendment to the law so that the safety of the passengers on open and commercial vehicles can be adhered to.